Are the gangs still actively involved in distributing drugs? Uh, 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 yes, they are. And what we have is small little cells now, instead of one big humongous organization, uh-huh. that uh, bring in their own uh, their own supply and so forth. And uh, we go back to what we spoke earlier about the gangs in, in Salvador, the, you yeah. know, the, their connections to bring in. Uh, we have the airlines are bringing in the coke and in, in, uh, hidden compartments in, in commercial airlines and so forth. So easy to do. It's it? so easy to do, and it's just the borders in, in California. There's no borders. What can, borders? I know. You see, so you can just bring out anything you want to bring. You know, you can have all the, you know, they, they would say, well, let's bring the war on drugs to the borders. when we can't even stop the illegal coming in. No, no, illegal immigration, and again, we talked about this the other night, I don't care if they're Latino, Asian, or Eskimo, it doesn't matter. They have come into this country by the millions and have, as you know, literally bankrupted California. The, the burden on the state of California. And you know, you made a point, Sully, uh, you're of Latin ancestry, but you're an American. Your family have been Americans. You've served this country for generations. I, I, how the heck... Can people coming into this country from Vietnam, from Cambodia, from Korea, from Guatemala, I don't care where, how can they come into this country and care about the history of this nation, care about our values, care about the Constitution, care about, as we talked about the other night, uh, Ben Franklin, Tom Jefferson? How can people come in and, and, and be expected to be Americans? Answer, they don't and they can't. Well, and they won't. Well, it's with they, few exceptions. Exactly. They, they they have no concept of what it is. All it is is an American where you're going to be able to make a better life of where you came from. That's the bottom line. Yep. You're coming up here to get a better life. It has nothing to do with who's president or or Republican or Democrat or whatever. It's all it's economics. Nothing to do with it. It's sure. just another life they want to start. And uh, and uh, and uh, you you look at it's 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 ironic. You look at uh, the immigrants that came in many many years ago and. Uh, uh, a lot of it is crime that's coming into this country. Uh, the Marieles from uh, oh, yeah. the boats in Cuba, uh, the Cuban exiles that came in in the 70s, uh, you know, the Irish, the, the Italians, the, sure. you know, it's all part of, 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 of history that comes in and comes in. Uh, you have the Russian mafia now. You, you got, the, you know, everything that's coming in is... is, uh, is it has never, there. it's never been, though of a magnitude that we've seen it has been overwhelming and it has happened so fast in the last 10 or 15 years tens of millions of people it's just truly really amazing and, and and it's going to continue to come and it's not going to be able to stop it and, and that's, no. basically, that's basically what's going to happen to this, this so-called war on drugs it's going to continue it's going to get worse and, and the bottom line I sit in high school you know you, you got two football players one who works uh, at uh, Burger King uh-huh. until 10 o'clock at night, then comes home and works on his homework. Well, the other guy got a big bundle of money, <laughs> a brand new pickup, yep. and, and, and life's not fair. <laughs> you got it. You know? Well said. Sully, there are so many drugs on the market now, new things coming out. There's a, there's a drug that is prescribed for terminally ill, often cancer patients, called uh, Oxycontin, C O N T I N, O X Y hyphen C O N T I N. That has become a red hot drug of abuse. There is always something new coming along. Uh, pharmaceuticals, of course, looking for new painkillers all the time. Cocaine itself, though, has always been a rather mysterious kind of a plant. It doesn't seem to want to grow in the northern hemisphere. It's uh, something I would have expected people with greenhouses to cultivate, like marijuana. Uh, but they never did. It's uh, if they come up with a way to synthesize hydrochloride, I guess the the coke masters will be out of business. How does that work, Sully? Why can't they raise coca plants easily in the northern hemisphere? Well, it's not number one that they can't. They can. The problem is it takes about ten hectares of of coca to make one kilo. Of How big cocaine. is a hectare compared to an acre? Give oh, us an idea. Acres and a half, you know, but two. Three acres. I mean, it's just it takes. So thirty uh, acres of yes. thirty acres of plants to make oh, one one kilo. One kilo of coca paste. Ah. <laughs> and see. then you got to take it and make it into hydrochloride. It is just. And where in the world are you going to plant all those factors without yeah, I get being the visible picture. from from the air? Well, see, you've answered something I've never known. That's oh yeah, it just takes a humongous amount of coca leaf to make one kilo of coke. So it's it's just. Uh, well, that very, answers the question hard, yeah. about how much of Colombia is planted in coke.
Maricoca. Yeah, in well, Peru. Uh, there's uh, millions and millions and millions oh, of acres. Oh yes, yes, and that's you know then you have Peru and then you have Bolivia, but you know the numbers are the government numbers, which which they try to. Uh, to oh, we, do we trust the government? Come on, folks. No, that's, that's we don't trust point. any government. He says we have a, a, a reduction of coca plantations, which which we don't know unless you're out there counting, and and uh, it's not illegal to to cultivate coca in in South America. Uh, uh, you got to get a, a license and so right. forth, and, and and they've used it for many many years, and uh, um, you know t- take it for what it's worth. The problem is nobody's co- uh, nobody's planting anything else like potatoes and. <laughs> corn and everything else. No money in it, folks. Yeah, exactly. There. The risk no is the worth it. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, let's go say hello to Doug in uh, Cheverstown, <laughs> Maryland. Hello, Doug. Welcome to the program. Oh, yes. Hi. Hi. Um, my thought was uh, about the Operation Just Cause. Uh, I remember uh, there was a PBS program called uh, In the 90s, and they would come up with they have all kinds of uh, video that was... Anyway, the story was uh, the neighbor- neighborhood of El Trio was leveled by this... Um, uh, action by our military, and I remember this. Uh, they showed a gentleman who lived, had lived in the neighborhood, and he's saying, "Look at this! It's it's destroyed. All of this for one man, and they don't have him." You know, someone explained this to me. And another part of the video was uh, the army. The story was that the army was burying people in a mass grave. Upwards of 2,000 Panamanian citizens were killed by this operation, and it wasn't reported in this country. And they would, the people that had this film, they said, why don't you report this? Like, say, major uh, news media say, well, and the response was, well, we have to rally around the flag. And, you know, I, I don't know if I have a, a point other than just I know the video I saw. These people were, they surrounded, the, the military wanted the cameraman who was taking this video. The, the townspeople surrounded him and prevented the soldier from getting the videotape. But... Right. Uh, it was called, uh, the video you're talking about is called uh, Panama Deception. And, and uh, basically there were thousands of Panamanians that were killed and murdered. And, of course, uh, I've always been a big believer. And, and I had one CIA official that came up to me and basically told me with a lot of arrogance. He said, you know, Sally, we own these countries. We built these countries. We elect the presidents of these countries. And nobody in the world is ever going to stop us. This is a CIA official by the name of Randy Capster who mm-hmm. made that statement to me. Mm-hmm. And he was right. I saw it in El Salvador. Mm-hmm. I saw it in Guatemala, mm-hmm. Panama, any South or Central American country we own. Because we are the ones that give them money for aid. The only person that I thought was going to stand up against the United States government was Chavez out of Venezuela. But then he uh, he gave, gave then a... Uh, uh, last uh, couple of weeks when he was down in Canada. <laughs> so, you know, he, he gave in to the money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's just, uh, those are our training grounds. Uh, <clears throat> like they say, if you have no war, you got no good soldiers. you have a war, you got good soldiers. And that's why uh, the U.S. prolonged this war so mm-hmm. they could... Do you, uh, do you see, actually, <laughs> uh, at some point in time, say, American military personnel being deployed officially to Colombia? Is it going to get there? We're going to do it with proxies and mercenaries. Well, no, we're going to do it with American soldiers. We're going to, we're going to bring them in, and, and a lot of people are going to get killed, and they're going to get whacked, but they're going to say, uh, you know... Uh, we made the, the world safe for democracy in Exactly. <coughs> and, and we all know that even in a democracy, mm-hmm. um, uh, the military is run uh, the shows because the oh. CIA... Look at Rest this country. Whole look, who, look who runs our our government. It's not the folks in Washington D.C. No, it's not, and it's the military. And uh, the military is always look at look at now. We got Cheney. We got Armadutch back. Uh, uh, we have all those crooks that used to work for George Senior are working now. It's the same old crew, right? The back same old it. crew. We yeah. saw it with Felix Rodriguez in Vietnam, Oliver North, and. Uh, Lop, all those guys uh, came down to Central America, did the same thing, and they're now down in Colombia doing the same thing. 